Hey, this is Shooter Mikey here, and this is really my first ever attempt at a tutorial. Um, recently, I've become pretty involved with Microsoft Flight 2020 and playing it with some friends of mine. But when it comes to adding downloaded uh, user-created content, community content, if you will, it's kind of difficult to figure out how you add that to the game sometimes. So I'm just making a quick tutorial to show mostly my friends and anyone else out there in the flight sim community exactly how to add that stuff into Microsoft Flight 2020. Uh, Windows or Microsoft, they, they, they structure the directories really weird and they kind of hide the community folder, almost like it shouldn't be there. And whether you download through the Microsoft Store or you download and install from Steam, that can affect exactly where this folder is located. So hopefully this guide right here will streamline that and help you uh, get the content you know where it should be. So really, I guess the first thing you need to do is you need to get over and actually download some content. So I'm going to use BushLeagueLegends.com as an example here. I love flying with these guys, and they've got some really great add-ons. So if you go to their website um, and drop, fall over to the, the, the add-ons drop-down and hit MSFS for Microsoft Flight Simulator, you'll see they've got scenery, they've got liveries, uh, you know, paint jobs for your airplanes, but they've also got a really great selection of custom modified carbon cubs. They've got the float model, they've got the Tundra with the large 35 inch Alaska Bush tires, they got the Tundra cargo that comes with this little cargo pod on the bottom of it so you can stow extra gear or you could add extra fuel to it, and they've got a model with, uh, with skis because, hey, what, how much, you know... How much fun would it be to ski on an airplane? Or if you just want the base uh, cargo, uh, base X code with the cargo part, you get that. But we're going to focus on right here, the, the Tundra cargo. So you're going to come over here, select this uh, download link. They've all got download links, but you just want to find the download link for the mod of your choice. And then, uh, then download it. I believe this one's going to redirect us to mega.nz file hosting. And from here, you just go with download, wait however long it takes, you know, for it to start, and it will begin downloading that. Now, while it's downloading, we're going to have to hop over to Microsoft Flight Simulator and uh, make a, a few adjustments here. So for Microsoft Flight Simulator, you want to leave the welcome screen and come up over here to Options. Now, in your options, of course, you got General Assistance and Controls. We want to load up the General Options and come down here to the bottom of this area that says Developers. Don't let it intimidate you. There's only one option when you get here. Either turn it on or off. Go ahead and turn it on. What you'll notice is in the top left corner, you've got this debug window that kind of pops up, or a menu, a debug menu that pops up. So from here, you're going to want to drop down the Tools and open up the Flight Simulator's Virtual File System. This is where uh, Flight Simulator 2020 knows where all of your content is is kept and you want to open up the tick window or tick bar for watched bases this is going to be uh, where you find your community folder mine happens to be right here yours won't be in the same spot but mine happens to be on my d drive uh, when i installed it i said just make one ms underscore flight and that it automatically puts the community folder there for you it's not something you added it's automatically there so one of these options on your installation will have community, and that's where you're going to want to make sure you load all of your downloaded uh, community content into. So now by now, we should have already completed our download. So we're going to want to come over to our uh, downloads folder, I guess. Yeah, open that up. Open up your downloads folder, which... Mine downloaded right here to the desktop, and I got a folder there for downloads, and it's you're going to find this zip file right here. Then you're going to want to open up a second window, so you can go File, Open New, Open New Window. I've already got one right here that has my MS underscore Flight Community folder already there. So that's why you want to keep uh, Flight Simulator 2020 opened up on the other screen to make sure that you see that, and you don't forget where that folder is. So, get back to your downloads, open up the uh, zip file of the mod you've downloaded. You'll see a folder sitting right here in it, usually named the same as the zip file. You just take that folder, 
and drag it right into your community folder. It will extract it. It'll pop up right there. So at this point, you're done. You've added custom content into your Microsoft Flight Simulator. What you will have to do, however, is get over here, go ahead, exit back out of dev mode. Um, I'll apply on save because I exited whatever. Go back to your welcome screen, and you're going to want to quit to desktop. When you load in the next time, you will find whether it's... Um, a custom livery or whether it is an aircraft or many other mods it'll load up for you and if you go into your hangar you should be able to find the carbon prop listed with the rest of your uh, your aircraft so installing new scenery packs installing uh, new liveries and paint jobs and, and other utility mods go the same way you just drag it drop it into the community folder that's where it sits microsoft knows it's there and it loads it up as it loads up the game and uh, you should be good to go so Get out there, mix stuff up, fly somewhere new, and I hope to see you in the skies.